So if you're a Mac user, uh, we're going to use a program called Horos, and here's the website I want you to go to. Once there, fill out the uh, form and submit it. Make sure you use a, a real email address because it will send you an email. Once you click download Horos, uh, check your email box and uh, click on the link. All right, this will take you to the download page for Horos, and so download the latest version. Once it's downloaded, open it up and install the program. And then it wants you to drag it into uh, Applications. And since I've already done it, it gave me an error, but go ahead and say OK. Open the program. So once inside the program, we want to import the images that we've downloaded from LCMS. So import and find uh, the files where you saved them. The first one is going to be a normal chest CT scan. Once you've clicked on the folder, click open, copy the files, and they're now inside of the Horos DICOM viewer program. You'll see that there's a patient named chest CT and it has one chest CT associated with it. Click the 2D viewer after marking the exam, and you have now opened the radiology images. This screen only provides you with the axial view, but next to this little cogwheel will be the 3D multi-planar reformat images, which will give you three different planes of imaging from this single data set. We'll have axial on the bottom left, sagittal, and then a coronal on the right side. You can even adjust the angulation on any of these scans by dragging around the crosshairs to line things up. You can double click on the image to make it big. And there are tools such as window width and window level where you can change uh, the appearance of the image. There are also presets for this, such as abdomen or soft tissue or the pulmonary. Those also have numbers associated with this. So you could just hit number one, two, three, four, five. The next tool is the magnifying glass. You hold the left mouse button in and drag up and down to zoom in and zoom out to better fill the screens. Next one is the slicer. So now you can uh, hold the left mouse button down and drag up and down in order to quickly scroll through the anatomy. One way to move slower through the anatomy as opposed to scrolling up and down on the trackpad is to move a, a slight angle along the trackpad and it will sense it as a slower motion and will move slower through the images. You can move the crosshair around and align it and you'll see that when you move it in one image it will cross-reference it on the sagittal and coronal reformats. You can also scroll even if you have uh, another tool marked by holding two fingers down on the trackpad and scrolling up and down. And this feature is active whether you have the magnifying glass or the window width, window level tool. So that is it for Horos.